Hello everyone, welcome back to Pixel Village and I am Radha Krishnan. Yes, we are excited to welcome you to another interesting episode on our most popular Shoot Like a Pro series. This one is the seventh one and due to popular demand, this one is going to be on video. How to shoot video using a mobile phone? Well, how to shoot video effectively using a mobile phone? And uh, there are tons of videos uh, we keep shooting using our mobile phones. Not all of them look exactly interesting. Now, you aim the phone anywhere, switch it to video mode, press the trigger and the camera will start recording video in 4Ks and 2Ks and 3Ks and slow mos and whatever way you want very effectively. And more often than not, you'll get very good looking, cleanly exposed images too, because that's the power of the mobile phone technology. But not all videos come out looking interesting, especially when you try to tell a story. And when you start comparing your video with the others, well, you'll think that well, this is there, but uh, not there exactly. But you can't really put your finger on where you've really gone wrong. Now, I'm not suggesting that you should be doing all these things that we're going to say, but probably if you use these techniques or methods that we're going to talk about, you will end up having much more clean looking images, which will tell the story more effectively. Now for this video, we have a sponsor. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Okay, so in Pixel Village, we keep talking about the need for discipline. Discipline while shooting, even if you're shooting with a million megapixel camera or a humble mobile phone. Discipline is what will really help you to make that difference between, let's say, an X or a Y, who is probably not as disciplined as you are. There are times when you can do it with just a camera, and there are times you actually require a few accessories. We have a few accessories that you can use effectively to create a certain effect, and using which you can also take shots and approach a shooting scene in a very disciplined fashion. And in this video, we're going to be using a few uh, accessories from one of our favorite brand. Well, some of them are not even launched in the country. They're going to be soon launched in India. The first one is called the Mobile Umbrella Tripod from Sirui. This is called the MS-01K. Take it away. The next one I'd like you to see is surprise, surprise, another mobile phone gimbal. This one is called the Swift M1 from Sirui. Again, not launched yet. We're going to be bringing this for the first time to you, an Indian audience. Very interesting. And we will see how it works. If you have ever used a camera gimbal or a mobile phone gimbal, well, this gimbal is not different, except that it is built a little differently it works exactly in the same fashion. The next one I'd like you to see is a mobile phone case. It's kind of a bumper case with a small lens kit along with it. Very simple, easy to use product, but very effective product. So this is another one. And the next one is the three lens kit. Now this is one of their most popular product. Uh, please watch our Shoot Like a Pro 2. Uh, it's, it, it really went viral and uh, this product was out of stock till very recently. Now it's back in stock. So uh, this is another interesting product that, you know, we will be using in these demonstrations. And in Pixel Village, we also talk about skill, how you shoot is more important than what you shoot with. The cliche says, the best camera is the one which you have in your hand or in your pocket rather. Well, to establish that very same point, we're going to be using a phone. This time, for a change, we're using an iPhone. That too, from about three, four generations earlier. This is the 7 Plus. 
and we're going to be using this to do today's filming or doing the video and let's see at the end of the day you decide now i keep getting these uh, questions uh, shoot with this brand shoot with that brand shoot with doesn't matter as long as you're confident and you know how to shoot device matter only to a certain extent but i would argue that majority depends on your skills and your discipline so without any further ado let's get these guys out of the box just go briefly through them and get into the shoot straight away a little bit of magic it's pixel village Right. Okay. Oh, that's why it's called the umbrella because it also kind of you can fold it out. Oh, first you need to pull it out, I think. You just pull it out. One turn, it locks. Right. So, this is a tripod, a table tripod and also a a selfie stick. A rather long one that is okay and it goes inside very comfortably and locks okay now this one is a gimbal another gimbal now mobile phone gimbal market is a really crowded one and uh, Shirui is one of the latest entrant into that space and this is currently on pre-order uh, will be available probably sometime during next month, end of next month. That's what I hear. Very simple, easy to use. The only advantage that I see, which compared to the other brands that I have used, is that it's got a nice extendable arm here. You know, so because of which, even if you have a heavier phone or a phone with some accessory on it, you still have some space to, you know, balance. If this is fixed, then you're stuck with this particular space only to balance your phone. So that I think is very good. Okay, so that is your uh, mobile phone gimbal. And this is the case. It's a bumper case, very well made with a soft interior and it's a rubber exterior and it's got a detachable lens. Now this actually increase the angle or widens the angle of the built-in primary camera now very simple just slide it in and well voila you are ready to go now don't worry about which phone you're having you remember our earlier saying the phone that you have is the best phone in the world you can do very good quality work with it if you wish to provided you get disciplined a bit okay and the next one is our favorite lens kit the advantage is these lenses are not some of those ah that reminds me i should warn you that these products are definitely meant for a mobile phone but that doesn't mean that they are cheap or they need to come at a very low cost good quality product always costs money if you say can I do it with a cheap plastic lens? You can't because plastic lenses, well, you lose quality, you lose optical quality. These lenses are made by a specialist optical company, Shirui, is Shirui Opticals. They use very high quality glass to make these uh, lenses. So when you use any of these lenses in front of your mobile phone uh, camera, it doesn't really drop the quality of your phone camera. Well, to a great extent, it even improves the quality of your uh, phone camera. Why? Because these lenses are made to a great standard. Now, how do you fix this? Well, you can by just removing this lens, take this, there's a slot, just like the way you would mount any camera lens mount and you're ready to go now some of the modern cameras like the iphone 11 and some of these android phones 
actually have built-in wide-angle lenses, in which case you don't require any additional lensing. Now, in that same cameras, I'm talking about the advanced cameras, you can actually switch the magnification to 1x, to 2x, to 3x, etc. The resolution of the 4K frame doesn't really drop in video, but it'll allow you to magnify your image. Now that is what these lenses effectively do if your camera don't have those feature built in it. So if you have a modern camera, you don't require these lenses. You can straight away use the gimbal or the monopod and start shooting. But if you don't, you might require a casing and these lenses. So I'm addressing the entire spectrum of mobile phone users. Now straight into the tutorial. Well, a cinematographer probably on his first day in his film school will learn about lenses and camera angles. Well, that's what we're going to do today and how a certain camera angle and certain camera lenses will give you a certain emotion. Now, let's get into that straight shoot. While doing the shoot, I'll explain to you what I'm doing. Read the supers everywhere. So the story is uh, me as an individual. Uh, well, I'm the resident model. So I'm going to be walking into this office building, go through the security, take the escalator, go a couple of uh, stairs up, walk into a cafe and enter into a conversation with a colleague over a coffee. Now that's the story. Now you can be holding a gimbal, follow the person throughout and also tell the story. That's how majority of the digital content is being created these days for various reasons. But if you want to tell the story cinematically, well, then you should break it down into various different sections and put it together while editing to create a cinematic look. That's how your content will start looking different from the others. Okay, so the first thing, you need to establish where you are walking into, for which you need a wide angle lens. Then you follow the man's footstep. In a low angle, you have a gimbal. You follow the man. Then he goes through the security, shoot a mid shot. Then he walks up the stairs, follow him. Then he enters. Then you shift from the gimbal onto a monopod or a tripod, if you remember, which I showed you earlier. Then take various different shots, which I'll explain to you as we go. And since I am the model, I can't possibly be shooting the scene uh, myself. So I'm going to hand over this to Ali. Ali, over to you. And uh, he's the resident cinematographer. And I'm going to be the actor. As we shoot, you will know exactly what we are doing. We'll make it very clear for you. And any doubts, ask in the comments column. Okay, over the shoot. All the best, Ali. Yeah. So let's go. Okay, here you see Ali doing skyfall shot, which is basically a revealing shot of the property. And followed by a follow shot. It's tracking from a very low angle. Another one. And then he shifted to a kind of a mid shot. He also took a slightly closer shot now he is following me in uh, mid shot. Time to change the lens. I am going to put a close up lens now. This is the 60mm. Of course, you need to rebalance the gimbal. And the medium wide shot. And of course, one more tighter close-up using the same lens. All he did was he moved a little closer to me. Another wide angle shot after the lens change. Right, now time to change to the umbrella tripod. Very clever device it is. So now we are setting up for the over the shoulder shot. We are using the phones on lens. 
it basically establishes relative positions of each character. And now let's watch the finished video. So, what do you think? Well, if you agree that that was the right way to tell a story, then I would like you to try it out and post it in your social media contact points. Tag Pixel Village and tag Shirui. And the best one, stand a chance to win a Shirui M1 mobile gimbal absolutely free. Spread this video to as many of your friends as possible and help us reach a lakh views in just 15 days. Let's see what we can do together. I would like to definitely thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I, as a commercial photographer, have been using Squarespace uh, for the last seven, seven and a half years. And I have always enjoyed, I'm not really a techie. I can't really uh, create and maintain a website. But with Squarespace, all my previous horrendous experience that I had with uh, website designers and coordinating with them and updating and upgrading and all that vanished. And in flat two hours, I build my website and ever since I've been maintaining my website myself. So thank you Squarespace once again. And if you would like to use Squarespace, yes, we have a link in the description using which you can get a 10% discount. So please go check it out, sign up. And about 14 days of usage is free, after which if you would like to continue using, like I said, use our uh, promo code and get 10% discount. Bye for now.